You're listening to The Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 333, Egglass Angels, season 5, episode 12, recorded November 2020, released February 2022. Grells, grells, grells. Welcome back to Total Party Kill. I am Scott McNulty, your Dungeon Master for Dark Sun. Ooh, we're on Athos. Yes, this is one of the uh, few sessions that isn't run by Tony Sindelar. Although, Tony Sindelar is here. Hey, Tony. Hi. Hi, Hi nerds. <laughs> That's the kind of excitement Tony brings when he's a player. Yep, I'm here. It's me, Tony Sindelar, here to play. obligated to appear. <laughs> here Tony to play Sindelar. Regdar the Guy. <laughs> uh, also here, Aline Sims. Hello, I play Shara, the, what am I, Air Genasi Rogue. <laughs> I don't know why Boy, I have so much trouble with that. Everybody is on point. Yeah, and we speaking are. of on point, it's Steve Lutz. Oh, was I expected to be on point? Uh, <laughs> here I am, on point. And uh, I am playing Kachka, a three cream bard <laughs> that I've been playing for roughly six million years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still level seven. Yep. Uh, uh, speaking of which, Dan Morin is here. Hello, Dan. Uh, yes, perpetually level seven everywhere in my life. I am playing <laughs> Omlal, a Goliath barbarian who just likes to hit things. Oh, don't we all? Erica Ensign, you can't have D&D without Erica. Well, you can, but it's <laughs> Erica list? You shouldn't. I guess. It's a bad idea. Oh, that's nice. There's that's no nice. D's in yep. Erica. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm playing Zotasha. I'm a tiefling. What am I? <laughs> Mystic. <laughs> uh, oh, no, Erica's oh, no. okay. it's like I want to say I want to say psionicist, but that's not that's not no, that's fine. correct. I accept it's, it. It's Mystic is the appropriate psionicist. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Excellent. And Let's just all agree: if this episode doesn't go the way we like, we'll redo this one. <laughs> I forget: is a psionicist the ones that can prescribe drugs or not? <laughs> no. Uh, finally, but not lastly, what? That doesn't make any sense. Jason Snell. <laughs> Hi there. I know who I'm playing. It's Carlos D. Dwarf. He's a fighter. He's a gladiator. He's a mull. Uh, and uh, Danger is his middle name. He likes to hit things like like uh, Omal does, but also he likes to run around a lot. And Ooh, that's how you do that. it, folks. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he had learned a few yep. magic spells from Regdar just for kicks. <laughs> All right. Well, see, listen, uh, rest of you players, take a note from Jason. He knows what his character is. He knows his motivation. Uh, okay. It's great. Okay. For the record, the time <laughs> as we're recording this, the time changed yesterday and the U.S. election is tomorrow. So I feel True. like a little bit of scatterbrainedness is understandable, <laughs> if you not people, acceptable. Who, who may people exist in the future. Just bad clear, the election we're referring to, of course, is the election in which Brexit. Barack Obama will probably win in 2008, <laughs> which is probably when we're recording this. God so. willing. It's it's been been that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop thinking Goodness. about tomorrow. Wait, that was Bill Clinton. Maybe it's Bill Clinton. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Who knows how a politics work. Uh, Some so... Of- Jason, some of us were not allowed to vote in that election. Oh, my God. <laughs> some of us aren't allowed to vote in the upcoming election. Uh, but let's not talk <laughs> about criminal questions. record. Let's roll initiative. <laughs> let's not talk Don't about ask felony convictions. <laughs> let's move on. I'm just entering some things. Don't need to worry. Well, no, I hope there's only to one no growl need to worry. or not. We, do growls hunt in packs? We don't, we don't know. I know. Depends on the type of. I mean, maybe maybe my character knows, but I don't. Mm. Social growl. As my understanding is uh, could be an growl's uptown growl. Grassy growl. Fun. Uptown yeah. growl. Material growl. Uh-huh. Now you'll, 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 you'll know the, that only two of you have noticed this growl. So uh, the only two people in your party who get to go will be Shara and uh, Zatasha. It, they can't and yell. Then, <laughs> They can like, yell, but they Grell. Get, Grell gets a surprise round, oh. uh, but the on everyone other than the people who have noticed said Grell. Um, and so that means uh, Umla doesn't go, but Zatasha does. So you're seeing this Grell. Now, the, the, the ceilings in this cavern are about uh, 50 feet high. This Grell is coming down, so it is about 
tw- well, the the fleshy, brainy body of it is about thirty feet above you. It's, its tentacles are. Grow goes down. Does this girl have a dragon He's... tattoo by any chance? I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get closer to find out. Oh man, that girl went I'm... through a phase in college. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, it lives in a dungeon. It seems only reasonable it would have a dragon tattoo mm-hmm. to it. Are there other grills uh, on the ceiling? Now that I'm looking up, I <laughs> oh, there are grills, grills, grills. Trust me when I say <laughs> there are no other grills. <laughs> oh, give me this a perception. This is the, grill, you know, this is the only grill for me. <laughs> mm. Seventeen. What, what are we doing? <laughs> you there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That you see no other grills. You only hmm. see one. I only only have eyes for the one grill. No. I was going to say that, but then I decided not to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, my my next question is: What does Zotasha know about grills? Oh, uh, give well, me I, a well. When grill. grills and beetles battle, it's a grill and beetle battle. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! This is going so grill. Can, can in I go summer ahead? Summer is <laughs> grilling season. <laughs> can I roll at the same time as her because I had the same question? So can we just get uh, that out? Yes. Okay. When they battle in a bottle, it's a grill and beetle bottle. Uh, battle. You yeah. can give me either a a nature check or an arcana check. You're gonna lose that grill. Is what happens when a beetle battles a grill. <laughs> it's a plus I, four to either one. So, um, yeah, I rolled a one. I rolled a three. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of you have ever seen a grill before. Yeah, I mean, grill that gets me up mine. to a seven. I technically have. Duck on grill, is, grill mine. is mine. You have never seen nor heard of grills. Okay, well, I think it looks really bad, so I'm going to get the grill yeah, out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. I don't like us anymore. Monday <laughs> night. This, this show is canceled. It's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotten word from I the network. Got, yeah, I heard from the uh, podcast network. They have the podcast network, and he says that this podcast yeah, is not over. a moment too soon. It's the death grill of the podcast. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh Erica. Erica, Erica, you used to be a, a symbol of dignity and respect among <laughs> the we've ruined yeah. her jackals that were yeah. I was ruined. Was, I mean, first. look at <laughs> yeah. I mean, just look at the company. The bar's just really, oh. really, really low. It's true. Uh, um, Lex Friedman we come, just we emailed his parody pre-ruined. lyrics for Uptown Grill to me, and I'm not going to even read them because, you know, what's the Wait, point? Wait, is he watching this? No, that was a, a lie. Okay. That was a lie. Oh, okay. I also am going to just try to mind Mondays. thrust at, at that grill. Oh, all right. Yep. Uh, so as an action, a target, uh, one creature I can see must succeed on an intelligence saving throw or take Ooh. some damage. All righty. How smart is a growl? Uh, 11? That is not high enough, I'm pretty sure, but let me just double check. Just for the, for the growl. No, it needs to be 15 uh, or looks higher. Looks like a it brain. Is it isn't a brain. Mm. Looks like a brain. Feels All like right. a sneaker. Uh, so it is taking... Reference acknowledged. Thank you. Six psychic damage. Psychic damage. All right. Is anything vulnerable to psychic damage in D&D? It seems like if you are just a floating brain, you should be vulnerable to psychic damage, but I don't think anything is. I think a lot is, but like it's very rarely resisted, I feel like. I was going to say, that is the the other side of it. Mm -hmm. It just feels like you're literally a brain. All of you hurts right now. (laughs) That's what I feel like. Uh, Well, you don't don't know if it's... uh, (laughs) All the time. 2020. I I, I would also like to uh, use my telepathy to try to speak to it and just say... Hey, you're gonna get more than more hey. of that if you uh <laughs> if you don't back, the heck, you don't back yeah. the heck right off. Right you can also off. tell your friends All that right. we're nearby. Yeah, and I'll be like, um, there's a brain in the ceiling. Hmm. Amlal says, Is it mine? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't it doesn't seem to respond to you. I so. hate those. Okay, because you uh, sense as you make contact with it, you sense uh, kind of like a, it's an, mm-hmm. a very alien presence. You've never connected with a mind like this before. Okay, well, you so try to talk to it a, in it brain. Maybe the next well, step it, is to I, talk to it in beak because it's a brain. And I a don't beak. need to share a language with it for it to understand my message, but it oh, must it be able to understand at least one language or be telepathic itself. So I don't know if girls have a language, uh, but if they well, do. French. <laughs> Fun fact, Grell speak one language, and that language is Grell. Oh. Okay, well then it understands me. It's it basically does. fancy Greek. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's also its favorite type of cuisine. <laughs> so yeah, and can I make an intimidation check too? Uh sure. 
Just just imagining a, yeah, a Grell just right chowing off, down uh, on some fortune heroes. <laughs> Yeah, it, it it is difficult to tell if uh, a large beaked brain that is hovering above you is intimidated or not. So, well, I guess we'll just see if it does what I said and backs the and heck right back off. Back the heck off uh, next turn. We'll we'll see, uh, Shara. Oh my gosh! Okay, so I don't see a grill floating. I don't know that I heard any word of acknowledgement except for Almwall's question. So I'm just going to yell again, like, brain thing. Um, and then I'm going <laughs> to... Just yell brain. I'm going to uh, pull out my crossbow. Uh, 22 to hit. That uh, will easily hit a grill. Okay. And... Damage. Not this grill, but... This, oh, I'm just kidding. Seven points of damage. All right. There is now a crossbow bolt okay. embedded in this grill. Um... I don't really want to move further in, but I also feel like I have to. Um, <laughs> you don't have to do anything. You can do whatever you want, Zatasha. There are some stairs. So I, I guess I'll quickly recap. So you remember that there are stairs to the north yeah. um, <clears throat> heading down. So you'll remember you came up from stairs to the west of this room. So this is this room is higher than the other levels you've been on. Uh, so there are stairs leading down to the north and to the southeast. There's also a set of stairs. And from that direction also is where you're hearing this this kind of uh, uh, torrent that may or may not be plunging. Okay. Um, we also noticed that a lot of people had, or at least some, had gone back and forth on this trail. It's not like an unused trail. Correct. Oh, and I guess I should point out, you also see uh, to the southwest um, a passageway. Ooh. So I think in order to get out of the way for other people, I'm going to go stand on the path to the north of Zatasha. Um, I'm going to be very careful about where I'm stepping, um, but I'm going to, you know, clear clear the way for everybody since the path is so narrow. And I think that's my turn because I can't do two weapon fighting ranged, really. So okay. okay. Yeah. Unless you had two hand crossbows. I do not. Ooh. I do have daggers, but mm. my range is only is 20 feet. So. I see before me. Uh, all right. Well, the grill is going to. So you'll notice uh, the grill very um, uh, skillfully seems to uh, and unnaturally kind of hover and move towards you. Uh, and it's moving within 10 feet of Zatasha. And it uh, kind of flicks its tentacles at mm -hmm. Zatasha. Um, and let's see if it hits Zatasha. It probably will. My uh, armor class sucks. Well, with a 21, <laughs> almost My certainly. armor class is if you take those numbers and reverse them. <laughs> well, that's not good for you. Uh, so you so take seven 15? points of damage. And if okay, you <laughs> well, when that happens, uh, mm -hmm. that triggers hellish rebuke, because I'm a tiefling and I'm mad. Um, <laughs> so as a reaction to being damaged by a creature within 60 feet of me that I can see. I point my finger at it, and uh. bam, that creature uh, is now momentary, momentarily surrounded by hellish flames, Ooh. and it has to make a dexterity saving throw. All right, and as I'm making <clears throat> my dexterity saving throw, could you make a constitution saving throw? Well, I can try. Uh, I got a 17. Well, it made it. I got... Don't forget you have bardic inspiration. Still, oh, last that's time. right. I got a 10, and I feel like I should add my bardic inspiration to that. What is the that's a, die for that? I think it's a D8 right now. I think you're a D8, yeah. It sounds, that sounds familiar. So that's a 16, then? Thank you for the bardic inspiration. All right. Uh, so you feel like the... So these barbs um, kind of pierce your flesh, and uh, you feel this wave of poison attempt to... Uh, you know, poison you, and uh, you shrug it off. Oh no, guys! Uh, that grill is still... poison. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Don't trust a big I, brain I and a smile, Dan. So that was, hmm. uh, th but I still took seven points of damage. Correct. You still took seven points. Okay. Of well, it takes six points of damage because it takes half damage on a, a save, successful save. So. Alrighty. And so this grill is ten feet above you. All right. 
And now it is Umlaw's turn. So now that that was the surprise round, uh, everybody else can uh, do things. So Umlaw, you have seen this grail float down and attack some folks. Yeah. Umlaw does not like that. So he's going to run five. Uh, does this mean that we have to have reach in order to do a melee attack against it? At 10 feet up? Uh, I mean, well, they're I guess tentacles we're all taller than five out. feet, yeah. so that's five I'm, feet I'm reach, like eight right? feet so. tall, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm going to get all up in his grill. And get Dan, the grill can't oh, help it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess I'll just make an attack with my... Tony considering <laughs> writing his resignation letter on a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you become Scrawling Dungeon Master... crayon. That you're supposed to write three letters. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll take a swing with that. That's a 24. 24 will hit. I'm not raging, so uh, it looks like just 11 damage. Uh, Alrighty. I suppose I could re-roll one of those. I should, because I always forget to use that feat, which I would like to change at some point. Uh, so we'll roll a d6 and see if it's any better. Then a two, it is. So that is two additional damage. So 13 from that first attack. And we'll roll for the second one. And that is only a 13 on the grill. That will hit. Oh, nice. All right. Uh -oh. And that's another that's not nice. 15. So that's a total of 28 damage this turn. Wow. Pretty good for Amal. Good. Um, All right. I'll hang out next to the grill. Fair enough. Oh, so, you come here often? <laughs> Here's some burgers for you to cook while you're hanging out. Zatasha. Yeah, by, the, by the grill. Yeah. Down at the sunset grill. The you grill have master. Uh, mm. been hit by some tentacles. Uh-huh. Um, I didn't like that very much. So I'm I'm just going to mind thrust at it again. And Take it with your mind. Because I'm really angry. My black eyes get blacker, I guess. None Whoa. more black. So it needs to make an intelligence saving throw. They go from glossy 20. black to matte black, which is very bad. Jet black. What is the intelligence of a beaked brain? I mean, it's I a brain. It seems like it should be high, right? <laughs> You'd think. You anything else going for it? You would think. It got a 20 in its intelligence. <sighs> okay, then nothing happens. I'm nothing just really happens. mad at it. Mm -hmm. Aw. You, uh, you frown at it with very... <laughs> I Dark do. black eyes. Uh, anything else? Um, Would you like to move Do I away? think that those tentacles that are sort of right 10 feet above my head mm -hmm. might be able to hit me if I try to scoot farther away from it? Yes. Like, do, do you think that yes? it will, it'll take an attack of opportunity, um, oh. but you're not sure if it could, uh, you're not sure if you would be able to leave its reach. Gotcha. Does that make sense? All right. Then I guess I might as well stay where I am. Carlos. Carlos is running in. He does that. We and have established. That's what he likes to do. Going to do some hitting. Attack also one. does that. Left hand. Well, is Carlos left handed or right handed? I like the idea that <gasps> Amla has reached up to hold it for you like it's like a bag, like a body bag. Oh, oh, like and you like wail it. <laughs> All right. Carlos is going to oh, hit the There are candy pinata. inside. <laughs> oh, Carlos <laughs> likes candy. Uh, <laughs> attack one or right hand that is uh, 23 to hit that will hit a grill with the magic flame tongue short sword um, and that'll do 10 um, oh and it, well no it's because it's on fire so it's so it's it, that'll do 10 plus whoa <laughs> yes 9 19 damage Mm -hmm. That's attack number one. Well, it's dead. Oh, 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 ah. oh! I well, look that... around immediately for another one. And Carl, yeah. and what happens to the grill when Carlos hits it with his flame tongue so short sword? Uh, it it splits into covering everyone with grill juice in a twenty foot radius and mm, flops to the floor. Juice. And uh, Carlos <laughs> looks at Omwal and says, "That ain't candy." That's it. Not bad, though. Wow. That's the grill pinata story <laughs> wow. right there. And, and scene. 
the age old story. Boy meets Grell. <laughs> Boy splits. Boy Grell kills Grell. Boy mistakes Grell for Pinata. Mm. <laughs> Pinata right. sheds blood candy all over everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Happy oh, Halloween, God. everybody. Blood candy. Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Oh. All right. What are, what are you going to do now? You've, killed you've, 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 killed, uh, you've killed the grill. Killed a grill. Really glad I rolled initiative. Wow. Okay. Um. So what should we roll to see the if grill. there's anything else around oh, us? Can yeah. we perceive creepy things in this room? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, well, if you try to generally. Not leaving the path, though. In D&D, when you're trying to perceive something, you uh, roll a perception check. I got a 12. 19. 9. You you feel like you are in a room full of fungus. All right. I'm going back to where I was before. Do we we roll nature on these things already? Zatasha, as soon as you step there, uh, something happens. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm only going back as far as I did before. I'm not going any farther yet. Sure. Maybe I'll never Something get the chance. Something happens. A grill from the ceiling. A grill. No grills. No, I, I, I told no lies. What do you call the grills that come up yeah, from the floor? Grill dispenser. Grill. There's, it's a grill dispenser. Mm-hmm. So grill, mate? You are in the grills room. Well, it is grills uh, night. Grills in for half. Get, get in for <laughs> half price. Mm. Grills night. <laughs> Grell's night. Grell. Grell's <laughs> night. <laughs> uh, let's Hell's see. Grell's. What is your arbor class, is it, Tasha? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, you step there, and from the ground, eight. Uh, uh, eight grells. Eight grells come up. No, eight <laughs> yeah. uh, kind of. Fungal stalks erupt oh, under fungal your stocks. feet and attempt to hit you. Uh, most of them miss, but three hit you. Uh, four. I prefer uh, fungal mutual funds. <laughs> uh, where are my dice? I don't like it when you have to find so many dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got my killing dice right here. <laughs> Oh, God. Why are they a special chalice? <laughs> uh, so you take it's 18 points of, a grill, points really. of necrotic damage. Wow. And as you're, you look at wherever the points at which it has hit your flesh, the flesh seems to be rotting away. Ah, oh, that you need sounds, that. That sounds very bad. Wow. So that was it like does. half the hit points I had. These are necrotic mushrooms? That's the worst kind of mushroom. And we're just going to keep the initiative order. So Regdar... We stopped oh. with uh, Carlos. Uh, we'll pick up there. Help! I'm rotting. Is there uh, is there like a a tendril that I can attack that's attacking uh, Zartasha? Or well, give me a perception check. Although you have to come into the room if you actually. I'll come want into the to, room uh, and okay. do some perceptioning. As soon as you come into the room, <laughs> <laughs> those four grills. Something okay. happens. Everybody smiles um, because they love Regda. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> oh, the studio is. audience applauds. <laughs> Regda. I have rolled a 15. All right. So you see right next to Zatasha, uh, one of these mushrooms that appears to be attached to two, four of these uh, stalks. Tendrils. Stalks. Okay. Uh, I have identified in the... The field in this uh, forest of mushrooms. Which mushroom is a bad mushroom? That's right. There. Well, I would like to... I think that... I mean, lots of things are bad for plant life, but I feel like a ray of frost might be particularly effective. So I am going to um, do a ray of frost. So this is a spell attack. Can everyone see this uh, fungus token? Yes. 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 Okay. Yep. I have rolled a 26. So I really hope <laughs> hits it. A 26 will hit a thing that can't move. Excellent. It is going to take 2d8. Um, of the cold damage. I have rolled the minimum damage. Uh, I have rolled 2 damage. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it disappointing is, for all of us. 
uh, in case it suddenly decides to move somewhere, which you said it can't, its speed is reduced by 10 feet because it's cold. Uh, <laughs> all right. And now I will say, you didn't notice uh, uh, that it seemed particularly susceptible to that. All right. I would just like to... Can I just look around and just check if there's any other killer mushrooms in this in this cavern? <laughs> now uh, that you've determined what they look like. Yeah, sure. now that I know what they look I like. I will... And plus, you'll all remember that uh, this cavern has some kind of light because there's fungus kind of glowing yeah. all over the place. Uh, so you notice a couple of more of these fungi. All right. And they have characteristics other than stalks. They're purplish. It they, looks are, like. they are violet. Mm. I yell think? out, the violet ones are violent. <laughs> like they're out. <laughs> All right. Well, Ketchka, you heard. Uh, How Rhaegar's many letters famous... am I supposed to fill out? Just, <laughs> just to verify. Uh, triplicate. All right. Um, so, so Ketchka, you haven't seen. You saw the grill, uh, but you haven't seen uh, these these fungi. But you heard. Right. But Rhaegar I did hear the violet out. ones are violent, and I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> But I suspect when I take a couple of steps into the room, I might be able to work it out it, for it myself. It does become self-evident. Yes. Um, so this one next to Zatasha is going to have to suffer from some vicious mockery. Oh, now how do you mock a fungus? Do mushrooms um, have self-esteem? <laughs> you call yourself a fungus? You're barely a mildly entertaining gus. <laughs> and it must make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Or suffer well, the consequences. That sentence, and then <laughs> uh, fifteen. Oh. Uh oh, my DC is sixteen. Ooh. Well, I failed. I guess you did. So it will take. It's it's crying. Five points of psychic damage. Bob. So hurt is it by that cutting, <laughs> cutting mockery I just sent <laughs> its way. Pretty pretty cutting. Uh, anything else, Katja? Mm, oh, it also has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the uh -huh. end of its next turn. I like Excellent. that. Excellent. That's good. All right. Shara. Can, which one is that that got mocked? The one next to Zatasha. Uh, the one okay. closest good. to Zatasha. It knows what it did. It, yes. So are just, just the one life. Has, have any of the fungi besides the one next to Zatasha taken damage? No. Okay. They're all pristine mint condition fungi. <laughs> I feel like a mint fungus doesn't sound great. <laughs> it's a delicacy. 20, 30. Oh, I mean, okay. do you know what fungus grows on mainly? It's not mint. Yeah. Feet? Um, <laughs> okay, so I guess I've got to move closer. If I'm going to hit it. Enter the kill zone. Um, <laughs> the rotting killing zone. <laughs> so I'm going to come here uh, by, by behind Zatasha. My words are not working tonight. Um, and I'm going to pull out my crossbow or load my crossbow. Mm -hmm. um, 15? 15 will hit. Okay. And that is six points of damage. Are you hitting the same one that everyone else has hit so far? Yeah. Or? Okay. Yeah. All right. It uh, appears to be taking a lot of damage. <laughs> and uh, I think... That's my turn again because I don't want to throw a dagger at it. Is this? Uh, why don't you want to throw a dagger at it? I don't want to lose my daggers. No, yeah, fair enough. All right, they so might rot. That's, yeah, that's true. So the 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 tendrils uh, twitch and attack uh, Zatasha again. They've oh. got disadvantage. Uh, one of them has disadvantage. Are interesting. So are all three of them attacking me, or is it just the one next to me? Uh, there are three of them. Two are attacking you. Uh, There's some long I stops. might go down. 
if I get hit again like that twice. All right. So. What's your next character going to be themed around? Oh, yeah. uh, I may just take a break. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, no. Is that an option? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wow. could we have been doing that like all along? I don't characters, you guys. <laughs> You don't have more, like, Doctor Who th- reference mm, names? Yeah. I'm sure I could come up with names. I just don't want to come up with a character. Mm. We'll randomly roll you something. Oh, no. Dwarven Bard. There you go. I, I rolled it. There it is. <laughs> sure. All right. So, uh... Dwarven Bard. Dwarven, Dwarven, Dwarven Bards are immune to poison. So. Dwarven Bard. They are. Uh, or resistant. Named. See, I could do, I can do Plan- a name. Planet I can come of up Death. With some. <laughs> Terserus. All right, so so yeah. four of these uh, tendrils hit, uh, which is not great uh, for you, and uh-huh. you take twenty six points. Oh boy! Okay, oh, gosh. I'm down. oh no! Yeah, I, I don't have cure, I don't have cure wounds or anything to help her, so <laughs> we're not spec like our other party where everybody has healing because yeah. we're not. <laughs> We are overly cautious. <laughs> yeah. All right, Umlal, Zatasha has fallen in a heap uh, under several tendrils. Umlal is uh, not happy about that. He will rush forward past all his friends and cleave into this, uh, hey, all you fun guy and girls, um, oh and smash him with a greatsword. Uh, 13. Hits. Nice. Uh, where will they... Six and a two. Let's see if I can do better than a two. I did a three. Uh, Sixteen on my wow. first attack. Uh, you you slice this fungus in half, and it appears to be dead. All right. I will whirl. I will just continue in one smooth motion, bring my greatsword around, and slash into that other one next to me. All righty. 26, I'm guessing, is going to hit. 26 will hit. For 14. It would be really weird damage. if it didn't. All right, it's still up, but it looks pretty bad. I'll say it's it's gonna be and it. Yes, it's, it didn't look uh, great to begin with. So, uh, Zatasha, could you give me a death saving throw? Please? I could. That's an eighteen. Oh, one successful save. That's exciting. Carlos, I've done something. <laughs> Satasha so seems to be well. She is unconscious on the floor. Tendrils are. Does my uh, skin still look like it's rotting? Your skin, uh, in fact, you can. If as Carlos is walking past your uh, prone body, he looks down and sees that your flesh has melted, and he can see some bones. Ew, oh. which is not great. <laughs> Carlos is going to this next purple guy, and he's going to attack it. All right. Uh, attack number one, uh, 18. Hits. Uh, okay, that is going to be 14 damage. All right, it doesn't look good. Attack number still two up. is only a 14. Hits. And that is going to be... It's w- dead. One damage. <laughs> One damage, it's not dead. <laughs> All right. Attack number three. I spoke too three. soon. <laughs> uh, 14. That hits. Three attacks now? Dang. Four attacks. Two handed. Because he's two weapon two fighting. attack. Oh. Uh, and that's 13 damage. All right, now it's dead. Now it's dead. Uh, and I don't think I can use my, can I, can I, it, the other one's too far away for that last hand, is it? Isn't it? Or it, is it? it is. Throw it? it is. Unless you slice it off and throw it. Carlos is well, done. <laughs> Carlos. He has run and hit. And he hit. And is right. done. He what, has. What he else has. do you need? He slices and he dices. Regdar. Look at that mushroom. All right. <laughs> well, there's still mushrooms at play, well, right? So these two are dead. Oh Scott? yeah, I need to. Uh, yes. uh, yeah. Do you want to well, mark these guys well, up? Sorry. When the uh, oh, when the grills away, the it. mushrooms will play. I was just uh, mm. enjoying uh, Carlos's new catchphrase. Look at that mushroom. <laughs> Look at that mushroom. <laughs> okay. It slices and um, dices. Well, you know, you know what? Like, uh, I am going to throw an acid splash nice. at that mushroom next to all Yeah, wall. make them melt away. Um, yeah, see if they like it. Yeah, also I feel like their uh, dexterity is probably not great, mm. so that mushroom needs to make a dexterity save, DC 15. Mm, a mushroom uh, melt away. I got, I got a three. Okay, that makes sense, because you're rooted. Uh, mm-hmm. You are going to take... 
I have negative two d six. Clack. Uh, you take five acid damage, and that fungus melts into Excellent. the the ground and is no more. And we are out of combat. Well, what can we do for Satasha? Oh, I got it. I can get over oh. here and uh, cast a cure wounds on her. I would appreciate that. But then I am uh, well. I'm not out of healing, but it, very, very. I am just. I think we discussed this at length last time. All of our how how boned we are. Yeah, I am we're basically super out of looking spell for a slots. place for a, a long rest at this point. Right. We're just looking for yeah some kind of campsite or magic doorway that leads back to safety town. Right. Um, <laughs> well, we need to find somewhere. Where is safety town on Athens. <laughs> Uh, I think it's, I know, like, there's, like, one good neighborhood in tier. Scott, can I, two, can, can I see from where we I are am? not, we are, are there we two, are unwelcome there. Are, is there, <laughs> is there anything to the southwest here, or just this exit south to the southeast? West. Uh, there is, in fact, something to the southwest. Let me reveal. Drum roll, please. An area. It's more uh, horrible yay. mushrooms. It no. is a uh, corridor. Do, do, do. But, uh, I would say Dungeon Master, Dungeon Master. That's really is more that, of a tunnel. Is that where the Shut sound is? Where is the, uh, <laughs> where is the, the water, the plunging torrent sound coming from? Uh, that is coming from over here down these stairs. Oh, my little, my thing is that. How much did that, like uh, that cure wounds there do okay. for me? Well, let's find out. Uh, you do, you, do, it, you get uh, 10 hit points. Yay. So you're back on your feet again. How's my skin? Flawless. I cured it. Now that I've been magically healed. Uh, it's been exfoliated and it is f completely back to the way it was. You know, well, right. you probably have like fungus inside Retinol your Retinol is true. Now, really so, strong you know. on Athos. In 2d6 days, mm -hmm. uh, your eyes will explode as spores come out. That sounds great. I hope I live to uh, see that. What, but at the pace that we move through this adventure, that will take seven years. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's right. right. I'm, yeah. I'm going to use thaumaturgy to make it look like they're like they're not exploding, so you won't even know. <laughs> I can change mm. the color of my eyes. It's one of the things it specifically right. says I can do. So, <laughs> yeah. And exploding is everyone's favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, do we want to go toward the water sound, or? Uh, Carlos is going to run down here and look around the corner just in case. Yeah. Thanks, Carlos. That seems I'm like just, the farthest away the from ground. any of the nasty just things that we've seen. Carlos, is, is it Carlos attempting to be stealthy? Yeah, it doesn't well, sound sure. like Carlos. Sure. I, I, know, I, don't, I, I, I felt uh, silly asking, uh, but... No, no, Carlos is going to be sneaky. <laughs> Carlos, stealth is actually a... a uh, core stealth competency? Is a core competency. Second uh, No, that's not true. St Carlos is actually spectacularly bad at stealth, so... <laughs> But it's oh, well, a thing great. that he likes to try from time to time. Well, the, the Carlos, Carlos thinks it's a core competency. Give me a stealth check. Uh, Carlos's stealth check is uh, well, I rolled a, a twenty. Scott, well, there you go. And Carlos, what kind? Of, are you wearing heavy armor? Is Carlos wearing heavy armor? I am. You have disadvantage on stealth checks. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, then I rolled a ha ha nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, not as good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you told me. You taught me. I did. Uh, uh, just you know, keep in mind. Was, I, I guess it was okay. a twenty-four. It was a natural twenty, and then I rolled a fifteen, uh, so that's a nineteen. Because I'm plus four stealth, but with disadvantage because of my armor. Say, lovey. Uh, so you see the the tunnel curves around. Yes. And seems to open up a bit, but you can't see anymore. That, that seems like a way to go. Well, we, it is a way to go. The plunging torrents are where bad things are happening. However, we are bad things are happening to, to us. Yeah. yeah, I think those bad things will continue to happen if we bad all die because we head straight towards everywhere. the things that are happening that are bad. Okay. Well, Carlos is not going to peek around this corner anymore, uh, but he is going to wave back to everybody that, that there this uh, corridor opens up this way. He d uses the hand signals, you know, it's like there's a corridor, and or he, or he just walks back a little bit and tells them. <laughs> Whichever I'm one. I'm Whatever. still just sitting in the middle of the path. Yeah. So should we go that Thinking way? Think about your life choices. Somebody who is stealthy can peek, or I could peek some more. I'll go. I'll go who's, look. Who's not stealthy? <laughs> Am I stealthy? You were like surprisingly stealthy. Uh, All we need is a place the, that's the somewhat. That's, if we can find a place that's somewhat out of the way, I have a spell stealthy. that I can use to kind of add some protection that we can do a long rest in. That might be a good right. idea to just find so a room that only has a couple exits. Yeah. 
you you walk past Carlos and he doesn't even notice. Ooh. Wow. And you see uh, what? a corridor. Huh? What? And uh, a staircase that leads down a- into this inky, oily blackness uh, that is a, a familiar feature of this place. Uh, so there you go. That's what you can see from there. Okay, I'd like to go around the bend here and peek some more. Around the bend. We've all gone around the bend, Aline. Around the river bend. That is for sure. So you see everyone's favorite, more tunnels. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Until you see something different. Mm-hmm. So this opens up into a room that has a description. Oh, oh tell me a more. description. We have a description. Yes, What's the armor class I. of the description, Scott? And this room is called the <laughs> description room. Creepy. It is. Uh, you notice a low mist clings oh, to the no. floor of this cave, nope. and the walls glisten with moisture. Several sets of crude bronze manacles are anchored to the walls, and three hold haggard human captives. Oh, no. The captives are unconscious, although they groan and writhe slowly. A steady breeze blows towards a passage to the west, while from the east comes the distant sound of running water. Now, you are coming from the east, so uh, you hear that distant sound behind you. I regret so everything. Reveal some of this room. Oh, I'll, I'll just... All right, well, I guess I'm going back to where um, most of the group is, and I'm going to say... There's some stairs heading south, and there is a room with, and I don't want right, to, like, I'm really conflicted about saying this, but there is a room with some human captives and some kind of mist, um, and that is, that's the situation. Hmm. Okay. I read the wrong description to you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I take it back. That's Let's not what I saw that at that all. That didn't happen then. Let me tell you what the actual, what you actually see. Uh, I just made up that other thing. You'll never encounter that. But <laughs> <laughs> in this chamber, <laughs> you see a bronze torch glowing with a magical light lies next to the corpse of a bare-chested man with a shield in the shape of a krell. A krell? A crab shell. And a broken, sharp, Tooth sword. Several other corpses are scattered on the floor. Some have been pink- picked down to the bone, their clothing and armor discarded nearby, while others have been hardly touched. The walls are uneven, with small le- ledges and fissures on all sides. The ceiling is about 100 feet high. There are a bunch of dead people in there. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Some of them. And a magical torch. People. And a magical torch. Have they been there for a long time? Because, you know, if they haven't been disturbed for a while, maybe that's a safe place to rest. I didn't get close, but it looks like maybe something picked at the bones. Mm. So I can't tell. One, I can't tell how long it has been. And two, something picked at the bones, as far as I can tell. I mean, if it was just rats, no biggie. That's true. uh, Yep. And we don't know what the torch does. Do they oh, even uh, have I, rats on Athos? I think all the rats may have been eaten by like some kind of horrible half bug, half <laughs> lizard monster that's slightly larger than rats. That is accurate. Say womp rat. Yeah. Um, I know. Womp, womp. Like we need to rest. I know that, but I I don't know that that's the place to do it. Well, there may have been a safe spot down the stairs to the south. We might want to check that out before we make any decisions. Kind of wondering if we need to go back and kill those giants and barricade ourselves in that room. That room has three, four exits, though. I feel like that's not. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, it's. I guess it's oddly more... glowing crystals. That's true, and the only two of them have doors that are barricadable. The, re- the other two exits are just tunnels. So we might be better off in the room with the big sarcophagus because it, ha- it it only has two exits that are tunnels, or the room with the big ziggurat. It has two exits. One of them you can see through because it doesn't have the 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 smoke. But there I mean, are also of the places like, we tunnels under the water. That's true. Of the places that we have been so far, those are the ones with the the fewest exits. Well, Kashka would like to head to the south here through this inky blackness quietly and see if we can see anything that looks a little safer than the places we've already seen. All right. Uh, give me a stealth check. I'm assuming Kachka's being stealthy. I mean, there was uh, also one stealthy. door that we didn't check that went off to the west from that room with the um, 
uh, train tracks. That's a and 23. A, and there's a room from the fungus room too, but. All right, so you see, catch guys, you go through, you're unharmed by the inky blackness, uh, and uh, you notice uh, a strange thin fog on the floor. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. It's depending on how far you want to go in. And some, um, well, are you gonna three human prisoners? continue around the corner until I see something <laughs> other than corridor. So, in this room... You see a thin low mist clinging to the floor of the cave, <laughs> glistening walls, manacles, oh. three haggard human captives. This is, is this a logical <laughs> warfare. Is it glitch in the matrix, this everyone? This sounds really familiar. This is the, the description of this room that I erroneously mm. read for uh, the previous room. Okay. I can read it again, though. Is a low, says, thin mist like clings to the floor Yes, uh, of this cave. The walls glisten with moisture. Several sets of crude Bronze manacles are anchored to the walls. Three hold haggard human captives. The captives are unconscious, although they groan and writhe slowly. All right. Um, I don't know the logistics of whether this would work or not, but I'm going to try to telepathically yell into the mind of one of the captives to see if I can wake him up from unconsciousness. Uh, okay. That's got to be startling. Hey! Get up! Uh, <laughs> wake up, dummy! You can't see me. So let me, let me uh, look up. Just telepathically yeah, you're start interrupting scream. his horrible <laughs> nightmares. Start telepathically screaming into his head. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I like I'm to wake up. Same. I'm just going, eat, 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 wow. eat, oh. eat, eat, eat. Uh, he... One of the, the ones that you are doing this to uh, seems to writhe a little more, but they're still... They, they don't seem like they're, they're all there. Okay. All right. Um, well, I will amble back to the crew and report this to our party, including Shara, who has a strange sense of deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw something like that before. She had a vision of this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right i think well of the rooms that we've seen and there are still other doors we have not traveled through and corridors off of the fungus room that we have not traveled through true the room full of corpses doesn't have anything that seems obvious as far as something that's going to murder us sure you've slept in worse now, places yeah, the low mist with people writhing in it is uh, a little disconcerting. Mm -hmm. I think we are obligated to help the people that are. Yeah, writhing. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is your alignment again? Chaotic. I'm just, arsehole. I, I'm just neutral. <laughs> no, yeah. Neutral? Wow, that's a that's a harsh interpretation of neutral. <laughs> well, if we try to help somebody when I have 10 hit points, I'm probably going to die. So uh, I don't think that's worth doing. It's true. Wait, guess, why I mean, do we, we get damaged what... when we help people? That's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> aren't we, aren't is... we technically oh, we're still doing carrying wrong. an unconscious? Isn't Carlos or Amal carrying an unconscious halfling? Trade, he's not tell, unconscious. Trade he's just hanging out, right? He's just yeah. really quiet. Mm -hmm. He's, he's uh, you know, staying back. Staying trying back. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, you. I've forgotten your name. I apologize. I'm Regdar. Uh, were there any humans being held with you? Um, um, I don't know. I don't recall. Do you recall humans. writhing in pain? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Weren't you stabbed? Yeah. Good chat. Say, he might <laughs> not have been there was some pain. He doesn't recall uh, it. We, we are obligated to help anyone else we can find who is a victim of these cults, right? I'm always happy to help. Are you asking yep, me? We are. Uh, I mean, I'm asking the trade delegate. Ah, uh, uh, yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Says the trade Seems delegate. Seems like it. I mean, it feels like, I mean, literally, they're just in an adjacent room. I mean, it's did not you, like uh, we've seen in... Tony, did you check all the writhers on the contract? Uh. <laughs> all right. Regdar heads into the room and rolls an arcana check on the the horrible low mist. Okay. Uh, it uh, is... Oh, give me an arcana check. <laughs> you weren't just going to give me that one for free? No. <laughs> uh, I was going I to, and then done. I realized. Wait a second, I'm that's the dungeon not, master. Yeah, that's not how Dungeons and Dragons work. I rolled a paltry thirteen. 
You you are one hundred percent certain. I am distracted by the ethical conundrum we are all placed in, which is: Are we good guys or are we people that walk away from writhing prisoners? Uh, you we think it's save them later? <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry. I think it's. I think it's what it's. Safe. You think it's natural? Oh, I don't know. It's safe, but it's natural. Like a Sierra yeah, mist. Like, like, like hemlock. <laughs> we got it. Not <laughs> Sierra mist is not safe. Everyone I think knows we got to save them though. Yep. Yeah. All right. Ready to go. Elmal's heading into. Zatasha can yeah. hang in the back. Zatasha, so, you should hang still back. I'm just sitting in the middle of that trail. <laughs> okay. Path. Well, you should it's come like down the... here where there's less murderous mushrooms. But yes, you should definitely hang back. Okay. We recognize that you are you're badly injured, and are not asking you to carry anyone. But we're. I mean, when we see somebody who has been half murdered, our job is to finish to finish the job. <laughs> That's right. Even if, it, oh, even no. if that means we completely fail in our. In, Important in our question. Well, I mean, save everybody so, on Athos. I'm just, I'm literally, I'm just weighing. Like, you know, this is. I'm just saying, we're not. Risk. We have not done anything that has endangered our mission so far. Which half of them was murdered, Scott? <sighs> Top half. Uh, the, yeah. All, oh, all that's the, no, that's no good. <laughs> that's <laughs> like the brain and stuff. We need yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> but the it's a chicken situation. <laughs> you yeah. eat brains. <laughs> Um, all right. Shallow breaths, people. All this right. mist is allegedly natural, but I don't trust it. So not everything that's natural is healthy. <laughs> yeah, that's also, not what all, naturals. It's not what the organic grocery store taught me. <laughs> yeah. Who is going in where? Yeah. Will, I mean, I've been shopping like, at Grill um, Foods for years, and it's been fine. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we looking at, Scott? I I, I don't understand. Oh, okay, you're revealing some so more. This is our it is. Cavern. It is a very misty room. Where Where are the manacled? Right. People. I will stop. Uh, right they the are mist. along. Guys, this is going to be a great balls. missed opportunity. Oh. Uh, <laughs> there's one there. There's one. Oh, these are, there. They're very lifelike. Uh, one there. No expenses were spared on the captives. Okay. Um, I'll. Why don't I lead the way and I'll uh, All right. scout out for any. All right. Well, you fall into a pit. <laughs> <laughs> What you I take say. two points of damage. Roll initiative. Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. Uh, I'm waiting. Uh, section seven of his character sheet, Amal can't fall. That's true. Oh. Uh, I he do have a feat which never seems to come into play called Danger Sense. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> never comes into play. I have an element here. I have advantage on dexterity saving throws against effects I can see, such as traps and spells. You are in a room full of mist. You could not see this pit, which is why you fell into it. <laughs> Strangely, again, never seems to come into play. <laughs> really kind Dan, of annoying. Hey, Dan, 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 Dan. What level are you? I go into seven. Yep, just second. <laughs> Amal strides forward and says, as he's like in midair, like hanging over the pit, like right before he falls, Wiley yeah. Coyote style, he's like, danger. And then he just falls. <laughs> well, Amal has taken a shortcut. Yep. How, big, uh, how deep is this pit? So everybody roll initiative. Put how your initiative your in the, uh, it's your how deep the, the thingy your, your and tell me pit. if you're done. Uh, how deep is this pit, Scott? Ten feet. All right. I'm eight feet tall. <laughs> Just to be clear. Yeah, don't don't stick it out. If I put yeah, my hands up. Unfortunately, <laughs> that, eight, that seven and a half feet of, of, of uh, giant lands on your neck. How's the pit? <laughs> Could we sleep in there? Could we take a long rest in the pit? <laughs> Oh, it's nice like down idea. here. No one can it see It sounds us. like it's it's protected by a thick layer of mist that's and natural. Out. Probably something else. <laughs> if we get yeah, whatever we're rolling initiative for, which I'm pretty sure isn't the pit. If we can clear that <laughs> yeah, up, this what might what actually be an okay spot. Act on. <laughs> so Tasha, just so we're clear, if we all die, it's my fault. <laughs> well, I mean, I was the one that wanted to go in the fungus room, so I feel like I Oh I, yeah, hey, there's never mind. some responsibility. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Don't eat the fungus. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, have to. It's dead. Uh, oh. All right. I want pizza now. <laughs> all right. Gotcha. So uh, you give me a perception check. Okay. Night. Uh, but 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 uh, hang on. Perception is plus zero. So 14. <laughs> all right. So you uh, notice two things uh you see that there's a through the mist you see that there's a pit in in the room uh and you notice that Umal oh, has just watch fallen out for the pit. oh pit. too late too late watch out about, for that that's all tree you see. 
That's all I see. From where you are, yes. Okay. I mean, can I see where the pit begins and the floor uh, ends? Yes. Let me draw in the pit. I think I see the pit on the thing here. I just want to. Yes, that is. The, well, I'm just making it obvious. I want to make everybody. sure that my character is aware of the edge of the pit. Yeah. I hate when I try to swing across on a vine and there's crocodiles below me and I fall mm. into a pit. <laughs> there. So yes, you can Wait, see... that's the pit? That's the pit. But I'm over here. <laughs> I haven't moved you into the pit yet. <laughs> but I wasn't... There I was go. going around the there's, edge. How did I fall in the pit? Because you didn't maybe, see the pit. Maybe something pulled you in? You didn't see the pit. Gravity. The Gravity dungeon probably. master. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't make the rules. Yeah, actually, you do. That's like, like, like 80% of your job. What? I will say, a character unaware of the pit falls into it. Yeah. But unaware, yeah. but like, what if I just walked around it? Yeah, but you but would you have had to be aware you fell of into it. it. Dan, Dan, it. Dan, Dan, let me drop some knowledge on you. But he literally moved his Dan. <laughs> Hold on, He's Dan. over there. So the way this yes, should have been. Let's just think on this. Think on this. So you, one cannot walk around a pit. One cannot see. The way, yeah, this the way argument the map, will be longer than this combat. Yeah, so if we just stop talking drawn. about it, we will be fine. <laughs> Scott could have had no pit on the map, and then it would have been a surprise pit. But he didn't do that. But then he makes you roll, and you fell in the pit. I get it. Kachka, what would you like to do? Scott's right. <laughs> Well, I don't For really see anything that looks like a threat at the moment. So <laughs> How about you this don't. Pit? You, you've just seen Umla fall into a pit. I see that Umla has fallen into a pit, and I mean, I guess I could try to help him out of the pit. Don't worry about it. Sure. But yeah, I mean, I, I could probably see the top of his head above the mist on the floor, so <laughs> I figure he's probably okay. He's waving. I'm going to come up to the edge of the mist here and using my multiple arms and wings or whatever else I got hanging off of my body, I'm just going to wave it around and try and clear some of the mist. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not really working. Oh. Pull out a box fan, plug it in. Yeah. See I mean, it's it's, it's causing some, some mist to move around, but it's not like clearing out the room or anything. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to hang here and see what happens next. Um, maybe I can ready uh, an action of some kind if something appears. Sure. Uh, what would you like to ready? And what's the condition? If I see something appears that isn't one of my compatriots or Omlal climbing out of the pit. Or uh, Omlal? <laughs> something that appears to be an enemy. Uh, mm -hmm. I will... Or Omlal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watch. He's going to send a mimic it. after us that looks like Amla, and then who's going to be laughing? Uh, all right, you are ready. If something that does not look like Amla comes out of that pit, you will uh, throw something at it. A I weapon. will. So, sorry. Guys, I have a Umla, new costume. You are, you are in a pit. That it totally makes sense that you're in this yep, pit because you didn't sure. see it. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the pit is something that empty. you do see. Oh, what do I see uh, in the pit? You see. Uh, a rust oh, monster for son people of a... who know what rust monsters are. No, it's okay. Are. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is Dark Sun. We don't have any metal. There's no that metal. That thing's probably Athos. died of that died of hunger hundreds of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we've got is made of bone it's, and leather. It's, it's a living creature. It kind of looks like an insect. It has very big, bushy antenna at the front, uh, and it's looking at you. I look back at it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell me where this thing is, because I don't want to like uh, oh, not right, see yeah. it and accidentally <laughs> run into it. Mm. Ah, that right there, you say. Yes. Uh, okay, so wood climbing out of this closer. pit. Oh, dude, yeah, hi, yeah, come <laughs> a little bit closer. Um, I assume I could not climb out of the pit without provoking an opportunity attack then? That is correct. Cool beans. Um... Well, it's going to hit me if I stay, so I feel like I should just climb out of the pit. Take a risk. You don't want to make funds, friends with Rustle Koro? Wow. I didn't mm -hmm. think things could get worse. Mm. <laughs> oh, I knew I, I did, and I'm in a pit with a rust must. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain right now, and I want to hurt all of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know the I'm dungeon master, fair. so what can I do? <laughs> All I have is my words. <laughs> athletics check to climb out of this pit. All right. I assume that will not be too challenging. A 17, it seems like it should do it. Uh, you climb out of the pit, and I'm assuming an 11 does not hit you. 
Uh, 11 does not hit me. So it tries to bite you, but it okay. fails. I say, rust- watch out for the pit. It just makes a rustling sound. Mm. <laughs> Bye, now, Rusty. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> If you spend, oh, you've broken Erica. If you spend a couple of seconds, it is it is obvious that this thing cannot get out of the pit. Aww. So, Poor thing. if you would like to you do with that information what you will, do we want to All right. have I, combat? I choose to I, discard I, it. Here's, here is my question. I'll ask this as genteelly as possible. Can I see where the pit is and walk around it? <laughs> <sighs> Does Omol know there's no. a pit now that he's been in it? <laughs> no, I'm going to fall back in. Is that what you're saying? All right. Yep. We're on the Rust sorry. Monster's turn, Redgar, you're going to sorry, fall back these in. these guys. We're leaving Amir to die. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now that you have been in the pit, Ooh. you know Maybe the extent of Maybe that Rust Monster is also pit. A, pit, a captive here. I like that the pit yeah. requires a real, like, sort of Cartesian sort of, like... <laughs> <laughs> I've experienced the pit, and therefore, it's uh, a pit very. Uh, there are many ways to avoid this pit. You did not choose any of them, and so you <laughs> fell into the pit. All right, I fire a ray of frost into the middle of the chamber, freezing the freezing the mist. Ooh, I like that. Okay, How you like that? You like that? You're standing call in that the mist. Magic. Uh, no. Okay, some of the mist is frozen, and um, is the rust comes monster in. covered in like uh, frost now. Uh, it's a cantrip. I do that every nope. six seconds until you stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stop you, but you're not going to stop the mists. So. All right. Amla has continued his way around the pit down to where these guys are uh, attached to these manacles, and I would like to make a perception or investigation check on these fel- these people and figure out a little bit more about them before I decide to free them, because who knows? This could be some kind of creepy, weird trap. Yeah, they could be illusions. This could just be an elaborate prank. <laughs> Uh, uh, so monster. I'm assuming, rust given these actions, dicks. that we are outside of combat. So FYI, everyone, we're oh, no okay. longer in combat. Um, that was a so great you... combat, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said, if you people just stop arguing with me, this would be over quicker. But does anyone ever listen to me? No. Why can't Scott. I see the pit? Oh, no, I have pit awareness, and I don't know why I would fall. <laughs> Did I mention I'm eight feet tall, so pits don't affect me? Yeah, uh, against pits. <laughs> <laughs> I think tall people should be tall people more can't fall. By it's pits. true. Have you ever seen a tall person fall? Never. It's true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I rolled an eighteen like on perception. Or tall people. No, Jason. The bigger they are, the lesser they fall. Oh, so you're right. you. It is clear that these are cultists. Uh, I don't think you have encountered any of these cultists before. Uh, that they've been like we know captured cult, by we another know cultist cult. when we see them. Oh wait, you you have. Uh, so okay, they but these are not are... dirt or uh, sorry, gr- earth or <laughs> earth. <laughs> earth or no, these are not dirt cultists. part of the yep. cult of the black earth. Oh, no, are. are they cult? <laughs> they are not. They are cult of the crushing. Not cult of the crushing wave. They are a uh, cult of the eternal flame. Ooh, and you can tell because the they are cultists. wearing. Uh, robes emblazoned with the sign of the eternal flame, which is uh, like a, a bowl with. We should uh, three maybe they don't need to be rescued. Maybe this is like it's the like same as in the world. Remember? Yeah, yeah, we like had those guys. That. Everybody, close yeah. your eyes. Give me your hands. Can you feel my heart beating? <laughs> no, <laughs> I do understand. Thank is you. this uh, like a seven? Is this? Do you a feel the thing? same, or am I only dreaming? <laughs> oh no! Or is this burning? The eternal flame. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Thank you. But I'll be alone most of it. <laughs> uh, do, are they conscious, Scott? Or are they... Uh, they are writhing uh, okay, and kind of writhing, lowly, right. kind of moaning. Hello. <laughs> Does that mean they're they, conscious or are they... Yeah. They, they do not respond. Yeah, Carlos is going to go over here and also... You so, okay? <laughs> Hello. Hey, Guys, last time hey, we tried to buddy, rescue hey, cultists, they buddy. got pissed at us and raised yeah, you an alarm. Want, you want uh, out? So, one, so two of these, them. there are three people here. Two of them are cultists, both from the Eternal uh, Flame. Uh, and one is, seems to be just a, a, a regular guy. It is ranked. Oh, it's ranked. Oh, oh, right. right. I know this guy. Who was like, with us the whole time? <laughs> My regular guy, he, he, it seems like it's somebody who's not in the cult. He seems to be a non-cultist. He's dressed uh, and, and, in and normal Athasian garb. Are they asleep? Mm. He's a guard? Garb. garb. Oh, garb. He's, he's wearing, wearing garb. 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 Uh, yeah, they see. are garb unconscious. Man. What can we do to try to wake one of these uh, people up? Someone he's not a garbage man. He's not a garbage man. He's not wearing like a medicine? jumpsuit. 
no, he's path not. of refuse service. He's not from the future. He's not okay, a garbage good. man. Because <laughs> if I find out that some city in Athens is dumping their garbage in a pit and feeding it to a rust monster, I'm going to be really angry. Actually, that's super efficient. That's just recycling. Yeah, that's just oh, recycling. it is recycling. We also, reuse, most, of recycle. the, most of the sorcerer kings of the city-states of Athens are doing worse things. So. Okay. Well, then yeah. I'm going to write Illegal a dumping. compliment for their recycling and their green And Umlal, you notice that the... Harvesting the, the souls of their worshippers. The manacles are, are just secured by some kind of straight pins, so it would be very easy to pop them open. They don't have locks on them. What do we think? We, we let these guys go? Uh, just be, Let's start with this regular guy. Yeah, yeah. we're... I like regular guys. Regular We're team guy. regular guy. Maybe I'm almost so worlds on Regdar. Are you mimic? <laughs> uh, all right. So, are you going to unmanacle this person? This he's a human male. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Human so male. you uh, take out. So he's manacled both wrists. Uh, you take out the pins, and he falls on the floor, unconscious. Uh, Want to do a medicine check, maybe? Is that is that a catchka situation? Does he just fall into the pit because he didn't notice it? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's far enough away. Oh, okay. I see. I oh. carefully placed him on the map. Mm. <laughs> Guys, this would be Can a we... sweet place for a skateboard ramp. Maybe we live here now. <laughs> Maybe we Pond heal machine. here now. If you want to become Rust, friends with the Rust Monster, Rust you can live in the pit. Mm -hmm. He could be our pet. We don't know. We haven't talked to him, Dan. Oh, yeah. And you, you've I mean, been hearing a lot of rustling, <laughs> rustling, uh, no, as the rust rustling. monster is going back and forth. That was uh, definitely trying, a joke worth making twice. Um, I think so. Uh, climbing, trying to uh, get up and uh, eat your delicious yeah. metal. The kids are going to love oh, it, Tony. That. Come on. Um, <laughs> does someone want to do a medicine check on this guy? Yeah, somebody should. Who's, who's a, <laughs> a, a healing type person? And anybody who's me. better than... I guess I've got a two. I'll roll for it. Thirteen. I have a negative one. Oh, God. Uh, what, are, what are you trying to do with your medicine check? Trying to, like, stabilize him or bring him around. Um, Slap him around a little bit. Nineteen. I don't know. What here? Well, Dan, you? with a two, with a thirteen, please don't slap him. Use like a hypo. Slap or him around, Doctor. Uh, well, with is a nineteen and a thirteen, you're both there. You kind of you give him a little bit of water. He seems like he is. He's still unconscious, but he seems like he's uh, kind of stabilized. Uh, I guess someone might have to blow a uh, healing spell. spell. Well, that sounds like a up. terrible idea. Yeah. But really I, I'm does. not even in the room. So, so. here, so here's the thing: if if this is a place that we might be able to hide out now that we know where the pit is. And there's mist to, pr to protect us. Should we try to rest here? You also hear from the uh -huh. east, the kind of the sound, it's a little fainter, of the, the plunging torrents. Uh, Jason, I believe that... that would make us rest monsters. Mm. <clears throat> the tricky and... thing, uh, Carlos, is if these uh, prisoners were intended to be used in some kind of ritual or something. Uh -huh. Though this room seems like quiet and good hiding space, seems like it might be the kind of place that you would check. Less it also than every has eight hours. a lot more than every eight hours. It has a lot of entrances. A lot of entrances yeah. and exits. That's true. I mean, unless we wanted to kill the monster and sleep in the pit under the mist, we could. But somebody might check there. That might be like the first place. Or come in and, and then we and we. You know what's a and great way to start combat? And kill Rusty. What if somebody <laughs> falls on us? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to start huh. combat in a pit. Yeah, that's not that yeah. strategy. I'm like the world down in the pit, and then somebody else just walks in and doesn't perceive it, and <laughs> just they just are. falls on you. They should put a sign up. Yeah, this is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the other entrances to this room have a sign. Only there was some be, sort of sense. beware of pit. Yeah. Um. All right. So I'm gonna uh, go around the corner and see if I can see the sound of the uh, rushing waters. You know, yeah, I would love to rest, but also this seems like a place to get murdered. This is our new <laughs> adventure: the quest for rest. What is what is murder if quest. not the eternal rest, Tony? Uh, that's, I think you're thinking of pretty death. Deep. Death is the eternal I, rest. Uh, is, so you see, it, Carlos, exhausting. you see another room. Are you being stealthy? Another room. Oh. Sure, I'm being the stealthiest. <laughs> All right, well, there's nothing in this room. I'll, uh, uh, that can see you. Uh, waterfall gushes out of the wall of this large cave, filling a swirling pool and then coursing through a passage to the north. A winding footpath We're follows rich. the rushing stream. In addition, yes, this is the most water you have ever seen. And you almost saw, uh, you saw yeah, it almost drowned. drowned. In <laughs> addition yeah, yeah, to the yeah, stream's yeah, passage, cool. <laughs> there are stone stairs leading up into a passage of dwarven stonework to the north and cave mouths to the northwest and southwest. Oh, man. This is a very large room. I will reveal it uh, just because why not? Yes, please. I'd like to see what I see. Uh, yeah. 
Thank you, Torrance. The plunging tor Scott. Torrance. Hmm? You don't know Jack. Uh, about well, I think we need to try to get out of here and going up. It might be the way to do it to get out of the plunging torrents. It is relatively it is unusual to go down to safety. That is true. Yeah. Oh, look at those stairs. Those might go up a level. They're pretty fancy. Ragnar likes stairs. Those are upstairs, not downstairs, right? Right. Those are upstairs. Right I I re Oof. I go back and relay to everybody in the misty room that there is a uh, there's a lot of water. You got to see it. You're never going to see anything like it. And, and then there's another passage that to are the going west. up. And there's also is passages. There, is this an exit down here too, or is this like an? Uh, oh, that's not. Room? I will reveal that. That's just a another wall there. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, wall. <laughs> we didn't look before. It could have been a pit. It could have been, but you're okay. But there is a passageway to the west. Akachka would like to head down that way and take a look. Give Stealthily, me, oh, of course. Oh, right. Of course. Ask. I like the idea that we're just going to save this one captive because they lost their medallion that identified them as an evil cultist. <laughs> and that what is was a your stealth check? 17 on my stealth check. All right. So, Ketchka, you see some stairs leading up into a room? Would you like to go up the stairs? Uh, quietly, a little and bit. Rust monsters. And check until I see some reason not to. <laughs> Uh, I will read the description of this room. Uh, a stone pedestal in the middle of this cavern holds a glassy sphere about <gasps> eight, eight inches in diameter. Oh, the sphere seems to contain swirling smoke. Battered armor, damaged weapons, and tattered clothing are strewn about the chamber, but the floor within ten feet of the sphere is free of such debris. Several weapons on the ground seem like they might be serviceable, although all are badly worn. Yeah, that seems totally normal. <laughs> is there a sign well, that says we've got not food a for the trap. rust monster? <laughs> yeah, there's like a sign that says "Do not disrupt the murder sphere." <laughs> so that's... the murder sphere is resting. Do not tap on glass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's a clear area around the pedestal, mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of crap strewn around the room outside of yep. that area. And then there are uh, uh, a. Uh, but it's a tunnel to the west and a tunnel to the north. You know, and the if, rust monster if, never cleans. If our room. history is any indication, perhaps that tunnel to the west leads to the place that we already went a long time ago <laughs> earlier in this adventure. That would require a, a, an advanced engineering yes, check. To, you, to you, you that. would need to just look over there. But yes, it's, it's you have been there before. That would be a way to the surface, but we would have to recognize it, which I don't think is plausible. Nope. But we've checked every other passage in this place before <laughs> yeah. settling on doing something, so there's a good chance we'll get to it eventually. All right, what would you like well, to do? This place is awful. <laughs> how, how can they have so many chambers that are awful? <laughs> they should have got an interior designer. Maybe they did. Yeah. Maybe that's how they're so oh, wow. this was This it. was made. Oh, no, yes. yeah. Nobody comes up with this stuff this bad on randomness. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go over to Kachka and say, "Hey, Kachka, go see what's down that uh, that path to the west. Just sneak over there." Okay. Don't go near the sphere. <laughs> I'm gonna hug the wall as I go okay. towards the. I love you, wall. Well, you didn't. You couldn't see where the sphere was, so you oh, walked into it. There's a, <laughs> there's a surprise pit. <laughs> uh, you you go down this passageway and you recall having been here before uh, because it is uh, the skeleton of a giant worm is fused to the sides of this long tunnel disappearing into a nearly vertical tunnel 50 feet above the floor wooden right. steps have been lashed to the bones creating a makeshift staircase several oh no you there were previously several odd backpacks in a pile on the floor of the stairs oh, right. uh, but many of you have those backpacks yeah yeah and, <laughs> hey, these backpacks look like the ones we're already here <laughs> and we got we got they here from, a, from above right scott so can we go out here back to the surface you remember that this leads to the Temple of Howling yeah. Hatred. Yeah, but there's lots of empty rooms up there and places there that are. So Tasha knows where we can potentially hang out for a long rest. That is true. So if you it would, would like to go up sneak, there. Probably sneaking around some, some cultists. And we have two, one unconscious cultist and one, or unconscious non-cultist and one conscious Halfling. trade delegate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we also know the way out of there. We could send the trade delegate on his way. That's true. We also sure. now know the way back to this room with all the cultists, with the other people tied up in case we need to fetch them. Yeah. Um, this event, we really should have like, like, gotten one of these cultists to cults to like be on our side as like a nice base. That would have been good. 
<laughs> we had a little. I mean, we house. were invited to join the you, water you, one. You were invited to join the water cult. I, you know, I'm just saying maybe we, maybe we, maybe that was offer. where it all went wrong. That w- that was where I, it went I, all I wrong. I was, I was a member of the wind one for a while. You guys could have just like joined me. That's <laughs> we true. would have all been undercover huh. together for a while. So, Do you still have your membership card? I'm holding out for the eternal flame. <laughs> where I'm, would you I'm, like yeah. to go? I'm honestly, not sure. I don't think I don't know if they actually would have noticed that I left. Mm. <laughs> Were you a real well, temple? Really temple you might find out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so they weren't have, all that organized, a, to be honest. Remember that flute concert, you guys? <laughs> yeah. oh, I've blocked, I I blocked a lot of things out. So you, as I see it, you have a couple of choices. You can go up into the, the Temple of Howling Hatred and rest there. You can rest in one of the rooms that you have discovered. Uh, you could kill the Rust Monster, rest in that pit, if you like. Uh, you could... Go down up these stairs that you found, your Carlos has found in, in the, the torrents. Uh, or you could rest in any number of other rooms that you've seen. You could kill these giants and or I attempt to kill them. I, I, I'm interested in somebody who's better at perception than I am, uh, looking around to see like how well traveled are these hallways. I so keep- like I I looked back when we were in the the fungus room, and that was it was clear that people went back and forth through this room. I'm wondering if like there's a thicker layer of dust on the floor in any like the room at the bottom of the giant you know stairs over there. Like if that's super dusty yeah, and people don't come go in there very often, well, we've been going down to just the worm skeleton camp. path or from the mm-hmm. from the higher up to the low down, or is that so obscure and not traveled? Because I remember we had to make a lot of effort to get down there, so because. Mm-hmm. Didn't we have to go past, like, awful things to even get down there? I don't remember. Look back at an old episode, everybody. But, um, <laughs> yes, I, w- I would love... I, I agree that, that we're so far down here now that there may be a way for us to sense that uh, th- that there are paths less traveled by that we might be able to just take a break. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Scott? Um, I, I think that someone could give me a, a perception check. Who's good at perception? I mean, I have a plus five. Do it, but too, I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. Same. And I will have a look in this 23. room. Twenty-three. The... Nice. Oh. Yeah, like I'm. Lit- I just like Latasha has never been this guys off before, so she's just sitting everywhere. There kind of going, <laughs> and I got a twenty, um, and I'm going to take a look at this room at the base of the worm skeleton, just to see how okay. traveled that is, because it looks nice and wide, and there's only really uh. one exit and a worm. <laughs> well, you know, as worm. you're you're looking up uh, up the worm, there's also this this cavern. Uh, you look up the this worm. kind of howling cave at the the bottom up here. Uh, it's not really, I guess it's at the top um, as well. So that could be an entrance somewhere. Uh, you think that not a lot of people come through the worm. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's 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 uh, well it's suggesting that not a lot of people do the worm. Uh, <laughs> That's where the ziggurat is. It looks like it's fairly frequently used. Um, basketball worm, the classic basketball worm. I think uh, <laughs> time to take a worm worm nap. <laughs> nope, I'm All out. Right. <laughs> Sleep with the worms. Yeah, f- so, I don't want to be worm food or whatever. So is this room at the base at the bottom is of the worm? Verma just, compost. Just a big round flat cavern that doesn't have any sort of other features to it. This down here, uh, yeah, that's what. I'm Yes, about. so that is. So I don't know if you could see. There's a a circle, a circle. like a, mm-hmm. a a white circle. I there. do. Uh, mm-hmm. That white circle denotes the uh, uh, the staircase that leads upwards. Okay, so that's actually occupied by a staircase, or there's just yes. So you think that? So you can see on this map that uh, there are those stairs with the the rope looks like that's mm-hmm. part of a giant worm skeleton that has kind right. of laying down and then it curls up I see. upwards. Okay. So that's just like an abstract representation of something that's actually above the circle here. Exactly. Gotcha. I don't like modern art. I mean, if it's, yeah, if it's sort of, I don't know, we could hide behind it. Is it like three dimensional? Like it's sticking out of the floor or. No. So it's, it's, this is like a, a natural cavern. Uh, and in it is uh, this kind of, bleached bones of a worm that seems to have long decomposed and it's kind of stuck in the ceiling right so it's been it was traveling through the earth uh Uh, through this cavern and uh, it for whatever reason unknown uh it died here and then the clever people throughout the ages uh built a a staircase into its existing bones 
So you could, I mean, you could, so you hide, could, hide, you could probably the hide behind the staircase, yeah, if you want. Is it dark in here, naturally? Uh, so this whole floor has uh, this kind of low level of light because of this, the, the fungus on the walls. All right, so I what I can do is we can set up in this corner over here of this room where I'm pulsing my circle right now. <laughs> Let's not go into detail on that. Um, <laughs> I can uh, cast as a ritual Leoman's Tiny Hut, Ooh. which basically gives us a little dome that we can all hide out under. It's, it's opaque it. from the outside, and nobody can see through it. Uh, magic can't penetrate it. So basically anybody who hasn't frequently come through here might just see a blackish dome in one corner of the room and think it's just some weird feature of the cave. Yeah, and you could even, looking at this map, you could probably squeeze it behind the staircase like over here well it's 10 foot radius so it's pretty big oh 10 foot radius uh then you couldn't but uh it's gotta be big enough for all of us to fit under so that's yeah it's that size mm -hmm. even though it's called leoman's tiny hut which is a bit of a misnomer not, in my not opinion very tiny but leoman maybe leoman was a very large man maybe a giant. Seems like everything seems room for tiny the, to him the base of the uh yeah yeah i think we got room yeah, for you could do there. that all right, is that what is is that what we want to do? Let's go camping, yeah, everybody. Let's go. Yep. All right. All yeah. right. Will our adventurers sleep through the night, uh, near nestled under the the bony embrace of a giant worm? Find out next time on Total Party Kill. Mm -hmm.